I'm Justin with AmericanMuscle.com, and on this episode of Hot Lap, we're down in Louisiana unveiling another Make-A-Wish build. Now, if you've been fans of the channel for any amount of time, then chances are you've seen some of the cool builds we've done here at AM. And honestly, they're all a lot of fun, but without a doubt, my favorite build or builds that we have done for this company has been for Make-A-Wish. Now, we've been fortunate enough to work with our local Make-A-Wish chapter for the last few years. And over that time, we've built roughly seven to eight different cars and trucks for very deserving kids going through some very difficult times. So that's why I'm standing in front of this beautiful 2016 GT here today. And a lot of you guys are probably looking at this thing going like, man, that's what you're starting with? And yeah, as a matter of fact, it is. In fact, I'm really stoked because this is without a doubt the nicest starting point we've ever had to work with with Make-A-Wish Build. So what are we doing with this thing? Well, we talked to Leslie a couple times. We got some great ideas from her and kind of what she wants to see happen to this thing. Uh, we got some great parts picked out. She really loved the V-Series build we did with MMD back for the 2015 SEMA show. So we got some good ideas. We got some good inspiration, but now it's time for us to do what we do best and get to work. Uh, we're definitely gonna throw a little bit of performance at this thing. We're gonna throw some maintenance at it, make sure it's gonna be reliable for her for the next few years. Then when we're done making a mess, we're gonna blow off every body panel practically on this thing, send it out to paint. We got an awesome color picked out for Leslie's car. In fact, very unique, something I've never really seen. And then go to work on the appearance. And that's gonna be the biggie here with this particular build. We're really gonna transform this already great looking car into something that will hopefully make Leslie's wish come true. It's gonna be a fun one for sure. Subscribe to our channel if you dig this content. We love bringing it to you. But for now, let's get this thing onto the lift and start ripping her apart. Well, while we have the transmission down, guys, we figured it'd be a great opportunity to get in there and knock out the long tube headers. Very tight workspace, so with the transmission out of the way, it really opens things up nicely. So with that being said, we're currently installing the Cook's one and seven eighths inch long tube headers with their catted mid pipe. Cook's really hooked us up for this build. And listen, guys, these things are absolutely killer, right? 304 grade stainless, mandrel bends, perfect welds, and uh, fitment is certainly on point. And after that, we can get the transmission back in the car and finish out our drivetrain. Let's go. Well, guys, you saw the transmission out earlier when we were knocking out the Cook's long tubes. Well, that wasn't just to gain more room for us. That was also to tackle some performance and maintenance stuff here for Leslie's ride, namely the shiny brand new Exidy Mach 500 Stage 1 clutch that they hooked us up with, along with their matching flywheel. A nice step up from the stock clutch. Organic clutch disc, I love it. It's gonna be very streetable, very easy to drive. It's gonna feel like she's driving a stock clutch with the added holding capabilities, which is always nice. Behind that is Exidy's brand new chromoly steel flywheel. Almost 10 pounds lighter than our factory cast iron option. Pull through the gears a little bit quicker and just feel more responsive overall. So a great pairing, Exidy clutch and flywheel. But that's not all. We also did one of my favorite modifications here for any manual car out there. And that again is the bar Hybrid 3 short shifter. Uh, I absolutely love this thing. Have it installed in my S197 and it totally transformed my driving experience. We went with the flat stick. It's a cool look. I love it. And we topped it off with Barton's black knob here. We do have one more part from our friends over at the drive shaft shop. They hooked this up with one of their lightweight aluminum drive shafts. So we have to muscle this transmission back into the engine first and then we can put it on that drive shaft and start having some more fun with other mods around the car. So pray for my back. Well guys, drivetrain is completely knocked out. And now we're moving on to our next area, suspension. One thing that Leslie was very clear about from the get-go is that her roads are absolutely terrible around her in Louisiana, and she didn't want the car slammed. And she really wasn't really too crazy about air rides. So to me, that left me with one solid choice, the Eibach Pro Kit, which is just an awesome spring that's gonna deliver a very mild drop, about one inch on all four corners, a little bit more. They tossed in the springs. They also included their front and rear sway bar and matching dampers, again, both front and rear. Joe's already been hard at work removing all of the stock components, so we're gonna get this in place, but then we gotta hustle because we gotta blow this thing apart still for paint, and uh, that's coming up very soon, so let's get to work. 
All right, guys, so as you can see, we are currently in the process of getting the car disassembled for Axco. They're the local paint company that's gonna spray this thing a very gnarly color for Leslie. So Joe's currently taking the doors off, the fenders, you name it, it's coming off. Then they're gonna spray this thing. Then when we get it back, we're gonna do a bunch of cool stuff to it. But in the meantime, we're gonna finish taking this thing apart, get it on the trailer and over to paint. All right, guys, check-in time. As you can see, the car just got back from the paint shop. The guys over at Axco did an awesome job laying down the deep Viridian color here, which when you see it in person, it is a gnarly color. There's kind of a mystachrome vibe going on here. Uh, underneath the shop lights, it looks kind of deep blue, but once you get it out in the sun, it turns almost greenish, some purples going on, so a really cool color choice, and I think Leslie is gonna love the paint color. But now we have to put it all back together again. This is the fun part, getting everything back on and lined up properly. Let's get to work on it. All right guys, well as you just saw, I just finished up installing the fog light and turn signal buckets in the Leslie's newly painted bumper. Now one of the first things Leslie told me when we talked for the very first time was just how much you really dug the MMD V series car. I thought the upper and lower grill combination is just such a killer look. It's aggressive without being over the top. Uh, below that, we also have another part from MMD. This is their GT350 style chin spoiler. Uh, you did see me working on this a little bit. We got a couple things going on here. This is is Morimoto's fog light. I really like these. They kind of look like an OE part, but just have a little bit more firepower going on. And on top of that, we have the Raxium turn signals. They have some sequential turn signals going on. They look really sharp. However, they weren't dark enough for my liking. The smoke job was just a little light. So we threw Axial smoked uh, tin kit on top of it, and I think it just really set it off. So overall, I'm really dying to see this thing on the front of the car. Speaking of which, Come on back guys, I'll show you what we got going on now. I ended up going with the Raxiums here. I like them because you are still getting a cool daytime diffused LED running light. You are still getting your signature tri-bar running lights as well, which by the way, those Raxium turn signals also have. Black housing, clear lens, they look good. Last thing I wanna do up front is see how that front end is gonna look with our Cervini stalker hood. Then we're gonna slap the bumper on and get that in place. Shut the hood here, eyeball everything, and uh, coming together, I'm really excited. All right, with everything pretty much wrapped up up front there, guys, let's move to the side of Leslie's ride here because we have a ton of stuff going on here as well. We talked about that GT350 style front chin. Well, we added the GT350 style rocker splitters here that look really sharp with that matching chin spoiler up front. Here we have the V-series side scoops in place. Those have been color matched that same deep Viridian as the rest of the car. They look really sharp. Leslie's a big fan of scoops, so we wanted to make sure we nailed her dream, and so that's one half of the equation. The second of which is the MMD by Foose quarter window covers, uh, which we actually sprayed in satin black. It's gonna flow with some other stuff we have going around the car, and I'm glad we did because it's a nice kind of contrast in that particular area. So we're gonna put these beautiful Ford Performance 5.0 badges here. Obviously, we gotta ditch the chrome because you know, we got black and blue going on. That's just what we're doing. And you also notice those brakes are missing. Leslie's car was a performance pack car, had those big burly Brembos. How do we upgrade from there? Well, you guys will just have to wait and see. But in the meantime, we got a lot of stuff going on back as well. Let's go check that out next. All right, guys, moving around to the back here. And again, a lot going on. The first of which is kind of the most obvious, right? MMD's rear window louver here, as you can see, a little bit more modern, the ABS plastic, and it's got that satin finish going on that we kind of got going around the car. Case in point, RTR rear spoiler here, also in satin. I think it's the right amount of aggressiveness without being totally crazy or over the top. Drifting down a little bit, we have the MP Concepts smooth gloss deck lid panel. Plays nice with our smoked Euro taillights here. She's a big fan of the smoke lighting. And these are cool, right? Because they're giving you that Euro look, which is that clear tail light lens. Still with the modern and bright red LEDs, but it's a very clean look. And I like the smoked aspect because it plays nice with some of the other stuff we have going on around the car. And also back here, MP Concepts quarter markers on the sides. And we have the MP Concepts LED reverse light as well. 
All right, guys, last but not least, we have another must-have part here for Leslie. What you're currently looking at is the Roush rear balance for the 2015 and newer cars. Looks great, fits great, but most importantly, it's gonna make room for the quad tip exhaust system. That's right, that was one of Leslie's big requests here for her S550 GT, so we have to deliver for her. And in order to do so, we need to make room for those quad tips. One big thing Leslie was very adamant about here with her build was the stereo. She loves music, and while she did give us a premium package car with the Shaker sub, the factory Shaker 8-inch sub is pretty anemic. Um, it gives you a little bit of bass response, but it really doesn't fill out that low end. So in its place now, Raxium hooked us up big time with their JL audio upgrade kit. That basically includes a 500 watt amp for the subwoofer and a 12 inch TW3 JL subwoofer. Just a huge upgrade over that factory eight inch shaker sub in every way. It's their stealth box kit. So it's gonna fit perfectly into the trunk opening. As you guys can see, you still have full use of your trunk space. Uh, and I think it turned out great. The sub really rocks. Leslie, you're definitely in for some more bump here with your S550 and we hope you enjoy it. All right, well, there you go, guys. Kind of the cherry on top, if you will. What you're looking at now is the Corsa Sport three-inch catback exhaust system with their black tips. I'm really excited to hear this setup. To be honest, I had something very similar on my S197, catted long tubes with a Corsa Sport muffler. I really dug the sound. It was tame enough when you wanted it to be, but it could also really bark as well when you got on the pedal. And I have no doubt this car is gonna be the same way. Killer quality, 304 grade stainless throughout, their double helix X pipe. And Leslie, we hope you dig the sound. All right guys, so we just finished up inside Leslie's car here. Now, full disclosure, we kept things pretty simple overall because let's face it, it's a 2016, it's a premium package car with leather and Recaro, so there really wasn't a lot to do to make things just a little bit nicer. First up, we have the MMD GTX steering wheel in place, kind of a nod to that GT350 style. Really, really sharp wheel. It's just a monumental upgrade over the factory wheel in every way. Uh, also have the Barton Hybrid 3 in place. We talked about this guy with the trans down. You kind of got the first glimpse of it there. Well, now that the interior is buttoned up, it looks killer in here with the black knob. And I just am a huge fan of that flat stick shifter. Uh, also threw some carbon accents around the interior, kind of class it up a bit. In addition to some axial LED lighting, uh, just a nice way to, for a subtle upgrade, a little bit more visibility. And last but not least, some new floor mats, right? A simple upgrade that can really freshen things up. So big thanks to Lloyd. Those guys hooked us up with some just plain black mats for the front. And again, we got the tri-bar trunk mat back there as well. So minor upgrades overall, but stuff that really, I think, makes a nice little difference and should improve Leslie's time on the inside of her car whenever she's in it. All right, guys, so full disclosure, yes, Leslie's car obviously is a performance pack car, meaning they're usually equipped with factory Brembos. And that certainly was the case here with Leslie's car when it came to us. It had the Brembos or kind of what was left of them after 60, 70,000 miles. They were a little worse for wear, they had been painted and they just weren't going to work with what we had in mind for Leslie. So we gave those things a boot. We called our friends at Sparta and boy, did they hook us up big time. Check these things out. Sparta Triton big brake kit up front here for you guys. This is their forged aluminum six piston caliper with a matching two piece rotor. You got a forged aluminum hat and also your rotor here. Big time weight savings going with the two piece design like that, in addition to a lot better heat dissipation. And as a result, these are just gonna simply outperform the Brembos and look a hell of a lot better while doing so. But they also hooked us up with a matching rear rotor and they also threw in matching pads. But uh, Leslie, this is some automotive jewelry girlfriend and I think you're gonna be digging these things in addition to the stopping power they will deliver. So we're moving along, we're making great progress. But now we need wheels and we can't be throwing those ugly gray things back on the car. So let's see what we got up next. When the new wheels and tires go on, that means only one thing. We're getting very close to the end of the build. Let's talk about the setup that we picked 
for Leslie's ride. Now, she's a big fan of the mesh wheels, those performance pack wheels. She just hates cleaning them. So, try to think of a good compromise for Leslie's ride, and I landed on the RTR Tech 7s in gloss black. You're getting that nice mesh look, but there's still plenty of opportunity to kind of get your hand in there, get a wash mitt in there, clean them up and make them look good. 20 by nine and a halfs up front, 20 by 10 and a halfs in the rear, which make way for these massive 305 Mickey Thompson Street Comps. Thanks again to those guys for hooking us up. Along with the 255s up here, that staggered look looks awesome, and the offset really fills out the wheel wells nicely. All right, guys, uh, moment of truth here, as you can see, Looks good, Joe. Car is going up on the trailer uh, to head down about 1,800 miles to Leslie. This is the uh, the big moment, right? The moment we've all been waiting for. Car is looking good. It's sounding good. Quick heads up: before we threw it on the trailer, we did throw on a brand new Air Raid MXP to replace our existing intake. It was a little beat. Uh, we also slapped on a JLT 3.0. Uh, oil separator from our friends at JLT just to keep her engine nice and clean for another 60 to 70,000 miles. That's it, man. So we're going to pack this thing up again, drive it down to Louisiana. And the next time you guys see it, it will be under a cover in Baton Rouge awaiting Leslie's response. Well guys, the cover is on, which means it's almost go time. Now Joe and Jarrett just got done driving this car 1,300 miles, 19 hours to get it down to Baton Rouge, Louisiana, where Leslie and her family are gonna be seeing this thing for the very first time. And we're really excited because we even have a special guest helping us pull the cover off of this thing. I cannot wait to see her reaction again. This is always the best part of these builds. So uh, what do you say we get to it? So right now we're on Park and Dro in Baton Rouge, Louisiana, waiting for my car to be revealed. It was my first car, I got it on my 16th birthday. I would have been fine with just a new paint job and a new set of rims, but I know now that American Muscle has it, it's gonna be a totally new car, and I'm excited to see what it looks like. I actually chose the paint color, hopefully it's similar or the exact color. Um, teal is the color for ovarian cancer, the ribbon, so I'm hoping the color looks really good. I wanted to be surprised. I told him, do whatever you think is going to look best. Thank you, American Muscle, and I can't wait to see my Mustang. What's going on, everybody? I'm Justin. Uh, very excited to be here today for Miss Leslie. Thank you for joining us here today. This is a very special event for us uh, with Turn 5 and, of course, Make-A-Wish. Uh, this is our eighth vehicle that we've completed for Make-A-Wish, and uh, they are just very, very special, and it's one of the best things we get to do with our job. Uh, Leslie and I talked a couple of times on occasion. She kind of told us what she liked. Uh, she had mentioned some builds that we had done in the past for AmericanMuscle.com. So we had some good inspiration to go off of, and uh, we used that inspiration to build the car that's underneath this cover here today. Uh, one more surprise as well. I think we need a little extra help with this cover, uh, if you don't mind. Oh, here they are. <laughs> right behind you, Leslie. We've got some extra help for you. <laughs> So this is Leslie's brother, this is Leslie's brother Nick, surprising her from the Virgin Islands. He's a medic over there helping out. I'll tell you what, come on back here boys. We're going to do this. I'm going to count down from three and we're going to pull it straight back towards us, okay? Ready? Three. You ready? Yes. <laughs> All right, here we go. Three, two, one. Oh! Oh! <laughs> Woo! Oh my God. God. What do you say? The colors. You like the color? Oh my God. Oh my God. This is my favorite part, handing those over to you. <laughs> Put your hands together, everybody. Come on. Let's hear it for Leslie and her 2016 Mustang GT. We went back and forth on color a couple times. We landed on this deep Verdian color. Ton of flake, as you can see in the sun, it kind of flip flops a little bit too. If you can see, there's like some green, there's some blue going on. When you get it inside, it looks totally different. Uh, we also did the hood that you wanted from Cervini's. We got the whole V-Series front end going on with you here. New tail lights, Raxium headlights, Morimoto fog lights, you name it. There is literally no stone unturned with this car. Look at these brakes. These are called Sparta brakes. And you had Brembo's on here, but they were looking a little rough. No, no offense. Yeah. So Sparta hooked us up. This is a six piston uh, caliper up front. And then you said you liked loud. So we made this thing loud. Should we start it up for you? Yeah. All right, ahead. here we go. It's my favorite part. Uh, 
What do you think? Sound okay for you? Yes. Yeah. So that's the combination of Cook's long tube headers catted with the Corsa Sport catback exhaust system, quad tips, which were a biggie for you, right? Yes. And then of course we got the Roush valance in the rear to make it all happen. What do you think? It's beautiful. I couldn't imagine anything better. That's what we like to hear. Leslie, thank you so much for allowing us to take part in your wish and helping to make it come true. And we hope you enjoy the car, all right? Thank you so much. My pleasure. Well, Leslie, the cover's been pulled off. About five to six months of waiting for this thing to be done. What's your first reaction? I didn't think it was going to look like this. I couldn't imagine that it was going to be this beautiful. So that's a good thing, right? It's a great thing. Okay. <laughs> it's beautiful. If you had to pick like one of your favorite parts of the car. The color and the wheels. The wheels. All right, good. The uh, Tech 7s here, I felt balanced the mesh look, yeah. but like with a little bit of uh, ease when it comes to cleaning. And I'm glad it worked out. So the color is great. Again, we went back and forth on that a little bit, but uh, seeing it in the sun, it just really pops. It, it really does. Leslie, it was an honor doing this for you. And, and I know Joe and I had a ball work on on this thing. We've done a lot to it, and uh, we hope you enjoy it and uh, have fun. I definitely will. I'm so excited to drive it. Well, guys, the cover's off, the crowds are thinning, and that Louisiana humidity is starting to take its toll on your boy here. Well, listen, we've had a great day unveiling Leslie's ride in front of her friends, family, including uh, her brother who flew in all the way from the Virgin Islands just to surprise Leslie for this event. Uh, guys, we couldn't have done this build without all of the awesome sponsors that took part sending us some parts for the car. We certainly appreciate it, and I know Leslie does as well. Guys, we hope you enjoyed this build as much as we did. Always great being able to help out Make-A-Wish and uh, grant wishes for kids who definitely deserve it. I'm Justin, thanks for watching, and for all things Mustang, keep it right here at AmericanMuscle.com.